guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is tawny and in today's video i have another luxury unboxing for you guys this time this is one of my pieces that i've just recently added to my collection and it's from a brand that i actually have never purchased from and that is as you can tell by the title prada so i have been interested in prada in the past i've been interested in a few of their handbags their backpacks their classic nylon backpacks especially and also some of their shoes but i never pulled the trigger because I didn't know how much use I would get out of any of those pieces but I recently saw this item online on Neiman Marcus's website and something in me just fell in love instantly it's a little bit of a different style than I would typically think I would be drawn to and I'm so excited to share it with you guys but before we get on with the unboxing if you enjoy this kind of content please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below to see more videos like this one but without further ado let's get into the unboxing so this is the box that the item has come in and you can probably guess what type of accessory this is. Also, as a hint, I have definitely had a theme going on in the last month or so, but I'll go ahead and take off the top for you all. We have some Prada tissue paper. And by the way, can I just say that I absolutely love this color from Prada, this like periwinkle blue, sky blue. I just think it's so, so beautiful. Then opening up, we do have a pair of shoes, which you probably can't see right now, but let me take them out one by one and show you guys. In addition to that though, we do also have a couple little Prada booklets, just some instructions and, and little descriptions. And then taking out the shoes, we have a beautiful pair of block heel sandals. And they are in this really beautiful pale beigey pink kind of color a little bit on the purpley side but they do look fairly nude and beige in certain lights so these are their quilted slide sandals with block heels now what's interesting about these shoes is i actually did not find them on the prado website but i did find them on the neiman marcus website and i only found them in this color on the neiman marcus website which i'm very happy that they did have a nude color because i was really in the market for a pair of shoes that I could wear for dinners out, for happy hours, things that are casual but maybe a little bit more elevated than just flip-flop casual. But I wanted something that was super comfortable. And that's what really drew me to these because if you take a close-up look, you'll actually see that these straps are very plush and quilted they're quite cushiony and this is a lambskin leather which is very very smooth and extremely soft when I put these on my foot I kid you not I wore them around the house when I was working from home for hours for the rest of the day and that is unheard of I definitely was not able to do that with my YSL sandals that I reviewed in a few videos ago those are pretty painful putting them on right off the bat but these are like almost house slippers. I have already worn them out because I am just so excited with how comfortable they are. The heel height is also only about two and a half inches high, which for me, I like that heel height. I think it does give me a little bit of a boost of height. I'm not someone who needs a four inch heel. And I just know from previous experience that I am not comfortable in anything really over three inches anyway. So this has been perfect for me for, like I said, those casual happy hours where you want to be comfortable but still a little bit cute. And then, of course, this heel is so chunky and big, really, really sturdy block heel, which adds to that wearability and how easy it is to wear. And in addition to the front part being quilted and super soft, there is quite a bit of fabric here. So it really helps to keep the foot onto the shoe. I don't feel like I have to grip the shoe with my feet in order to keep them on my feet so that is also a great pro now in the front we obviously have the classic Prada logo it is in the same color as the shoe itself which I think is really nice it does make it look a little bit more subtle so not everyone is going to right off the bat notice or be able to read that it's Prada and I also like that it doesn't actually have hardware on it because I will mix up my hardware on my handbags and my jewelry from time to time so this just makes it go perfectly with every type of outfit now the bottom of the shoes are pretty standard just black I want to say this is leather and then there is a little bit of a rubber stopper at the bottom of the heel here these are made in Italy and you have the classic logo at the bottom of the shoe as well excuse that they look a little bit worn in like I said I did already wear these once out this past 
weekend and I'm just so so happy with them now this pair of shoes I will say was pretty pricey they were unfortunately $950 for a pair of sandals which is hard to say but I will say one huge caveat is I got these for 10% cash back you heard that right 10% cash back and I did that through Rakuten, formerly known as eBay. I always link my referral code down below. When you sign up, you can get right off the bat $30 cash back on a qualifying purchase. In addition to whatever cash back rate there is at whatever store you are purchasing something from. So I highly, highly recommend doing that. And what's amazing is that Neiman Marcus does very frequently have cash back offers and they will frequently do up to 10% cash back. Now you do have to purchase them online but Prada does sell their items especially their shoe items online at Neiman Marcus and they are not excluded so I was able to get $95 cash back for this purchase which is incredible makes it just a little bit more palatable of a price to pay for a pair of sandals even still of course they are extremely expensive but I know myself that I will wear these so so much like I said I already wore these within two days of getting them the first weekend I had a chance to wear them out I did because they're so comfortable I'm probably gonna wear them again today when I just go shopping at the mall which I never wear heels just to go shopping at the mall but again because these are so comfortable I'm really excited to have a little bit of a dressier style but still be super comfortable now aside from the price tag I will mention a couple of minor complaints that I have with these shoes but they're definitely not make it or break it for me I am absolutely keeping these shoes as you saw I have already worn them but one thing that I was a little bit disappointed with was especially for the price tag Prada did not give any dust bag I'm used to Gucci for example or even Saint Laurent they had a separate dust bag for each shoe and it was a real cloth dust bag not just a throwaway kind of dust bag the only dust bags that i got from prada were these kind of cloth like disposable dust bags if you will i mean i probably won't throw it out just because i would still like to have a dust bag for these shoes but obviously this is not as nice as having a true cloth dust bag with the branding on top and the little drawstring or anything like that so that is definitely a little bit of a disappointment but again it's not going to make it or break it for me. I still love these shoes. I'm still keeping them. And if I'm going to be really nitpicky, the only other thing that I would change about these shoes is the color. The color is, like I said, a really beautiful nudie pink kind of color. But I do wish that it were a little bit more on the beige side and just a little bit less on the pink side. Now, I can make this work. It actually looks really nice with my Chanel Boy Bag, which is also a little bit more of a modern mauve beige but if I were to compare it to the Chanel classic flap in the beige color the classic beige color it would clash quite a bit with these because the Chanel color definitely pulls more warm tone whereas this definitely pulls a little bit more cool and pink tone but again that still doesn't bother me enough to not wear them like I said I have already worn these I'm already planning on wearing them again and that usually is a good sign to me that they are worth the purchase if I can wear them within the first few days of purchasing that works for me as for the shape of the shoe they are a very classic almost 70s or 60s kind of style with the block heel the heel also has a little bit of an angle to it which I just think is really retro and cute and then of course we have the square toe at the front which I also think adds to the more vintage look of it which I'm really really drawn to I plan to wear these with jeans and nice tops but also with dresses I think they are so beautiful what do you guys think about these do you like these shoes I would love to hear down in the comments and before I kick it off to the cutaway where I try these on. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget once again to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.